Time Man Television provides broadcast facilities to the broadcast industry, uh, to all the major TV channels and broadcasters in the UK and around the world. We work across the whole spectrum of broadcasting, so we're sitting today in UHD2, where we supply large-scale OB facilities to the industry. The sort of events that Timeline cover range from sporting events to programmes such as Wild Alaska Live, which we've just done, to things like the Tour de France. In 2015, Timeline launched Europe's first 4K truck. That was based on SAM technology using the Kahuna mixer and the uh, SAM matrix. In 2016-17, we looked at the business case for developing larger scale trucks to move into the um, large scale market and with the uh, big players in the market wanting 4K, we believed that the time was right to launch a large scale 4K truck. The spec of this was much, much larger. We wanted this to be able to do the bigger shows out there but in 4K, so we provisioned it to take 32 cabled cameras, multiple 4K servers, large-scale distribution. Um, it became obvious within um, a few months of designing it and looking at options that, that doing it as a traditional SDI truck was going to be very difficult if not impossible. But when you can't do something in SDI and you suddenly think wow I've actually reached the limit of the capability of, of, the, of the one thing you know and love and you've used for years in order to get above everybody else we're going to have to go one step further and we decided fairly quickly that IP was really the only way that we could build a large-scale 4K truck. So the, the core switch that we chose to have in UHC2 was an Arista uh, 7504R edition. Uh, and we've currently got two line cards in our, in our switch, which gives us around, in 3G, gives us around a 4,000 squared cross point. The options that that is, uh, enables us to deliver is huge. We can run a second gallery off this truck very, very easily, and we've done that at several programs um, where we have porter cabins with another mixer top, but all the technology is within this truck. So from that point of view, instead of bringing in a whole fully facilitated truck, we can just have an extra add-on that's run off UHC2. Well, we can't only do that once. We could do that five times without any problem at all. We can add more multi-viewers, we can add more servers, we can, we're can. we wired for 30 cameras, but we could add 20 more cameras very easily. The, the scale of what IP delivers was only starting to be understood. So that switch just really, it's pretty awesome. You can't, it, it's only half full, the, the bandwidth is only that maximum 29% total. Timeline selected SAM to be their provider of technology for UHD2. Um, two reasons behind that. When we originally delivered UHD1, we ran a long process to select a vision mixer that could work in 4K. We eventually selected the Kahuna, which is fantastic in 4K and HD. Um, it uses Formax Fusion 3 to deliver conversion between HD and UHD, and is highly flexible, a lot of keys, and that was a, a key choice in UHD1. We clearly wanted to um, build on that, and we've got the same mixer, a 6ME uh, Kahuna mixer in UHD2. So that was almost a, a given that we wanted to do that. Um, the difference in this truck is that we've got the IP fins in the mixer as opposed to the SDI fins. And then looking at the um, IP solution, we needed a solution that could handle audio and video separately. We, we, we for a long time, have had a hybrid SAM matrix in UHD1. So all of our workflows involve being able to select different audio to the video, so um, being able to split the audio and video. That was essential in IP. We couldn't have a system where we had to always have a video tied to an audio. The SAM solution was based on the SMPTE 2110 protocol, which allows us within the IP path, it treats the video, the audio and data as all separate. And you can then, if you're recording in a server, you can record the IP address for camera one, but a different IP address for mixer out audio. Sam were the only people on the market, I think probably still are the only people on the market that are delivering a, a working 2110 system. So that was our, that was the, the biggest choice. One of the great things about UHC2 is HDR. And uh, we've really thought right from the planning stages about implementing HDR into, into the truck. Um, we've actually got two kahunas so that we can run two separate workflows for our clients. So they've still got their um, traditional SDR pictures. 
and side by side with the frame in redundant frame mode, we can run the second frame in HDR uh, with all of the cameras separate outputs into both mixers. We've done trials with HDR and, and the results are fantastic and I really believe that HDR will become a format of choice. We can show a football match or, or, or a triathlon or whatever it may be with exactly how or closer to how our eyes actually see it. Producers sitting in this gallery love the flexibility, love that they can have huge amounts of sources in 4K, love that they can watch everything in 4K and they can work HDR. So the client is going to come in, sit at this desk and push the same buttons they've always pushed and the pictures in front of them are going to change exactly like, as they always have. But they don't really know that IP plays a part. I think one of the highlights of the project was actually seeing a picture on the screen from an IP source. You got out like an absolute rocket! <laughs>